For basket number one, I thought it would be fun to make like a Christmas movie, movie night for Christmas Eve. Um, so I picked up this big bag of movie theater popcorn and then these popcorn containers and then I grabbed two Snugadoo yellow socks and then some various candies. You can pick whatever candies you want. Whatever candy you like to eat when you're at the movie theater. I picked out some Christmas movies. I got those at Dollar Tree, but you can put whatever Christmas movie you want. And then I thought this snowman decor piece was really cute, and I'm going to throw that in the basket. I took one of these microfiber cloths that I picked up in the car section at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to use this as my filler for the basket. I really like these because they kind of give like that snow vibe. They're really soft, and I just think that you can use them for multiple purposes so I think they're a great filler for a basket um, I love these popcorn containers they kind of remind me of candy canes I think they're really cute my idea here is I'm gonna take these yellow socks and I'm gonna wrap them up and I'm gonna try to make them look like popcorn in the end I kind of switched this up a little bit but this is how I did it I was kind of messing around with a couple of different ways you could put the socks in there I tried to hide the blue as much as I could but I basically just wrapped them up like this and then I just stuck them in the basket and they do stick there pretty good um, you could put them in there like this but I also thought you know maybe I should go ahead and fill these popcorn containers up so I just grabbed some candy bars and then I just filled up the little popcorn containers with candy bars just to give it a little bit more. You could put whatever you want in them. And then I decided to set the socks on top. Now I'm going to put the Christmas movies in the basket and I'm just going to place them right here in the back. I picked these movies because I thought that they look like really good Christmas family movies. But you could put any movie in there. Um, they had some kids Christmas movies which were really cute like Rudolph and the Snowman movies and Santa Claus movies. So if you wanted to put some kids Christmas movies in there too that would be really cute. You could also put different snacks, um, you could put jerky, you could put really anything in there. Now I'm just going to decorate the basket a little more. I put that Santa decor piece in there and then I'm going to use these snowflake ornaments just to make it look a little more wintry and give it some more Christmas vibes. I really like this red basket but in the end I actually decided to switch it up a little bit. But for this basket, I decided to pull some of this um, iridescent shred out and put that in the front just so I could give Santa a little bit more height so that you could see him. And this is how the basket turned out. I love it. I think it's really cute. You could add some candy canes in there, really anything. I think it is such a good idea. I love how the socks look like popcorn. But in the end, like I said, I decided to switch it up a little bit and this is ultimately how I decided to leave this basket. So instead, I swapped out the red basket for the white one and then I just rearranged everything differently inside the basket. And then I added that sequence star pillow because I thought it just reminded me of Hollywood. It looked like movie night. And then there was these really cute little wooden Christmas stickers that I found and I just placed those throughout the basket as well and I really liked how the gold pops with the silver it looks very Hollywood very movie night absolutely love it and again here I am just putting those snowflakes inside the basket just to give it a little bit more of a winter Christmas vibe and here it is I love it I think it turned out so cute you can see that I also switched up the socks a little bit Basically what I did is I just took one sock, put it inside the other sock, and then I just placed it inside. And I think that it looks much better that way. And then I added a little bow and that was it. 
since we had a Christmas Eve, Christmas night movie basket, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to make a breakfast basket for Christmas morning. Um, I took an oven mitt, a wooden spoon and spatula, and then I got some measuring spoons. And I decided that I was gonna make like a little gift set with this. Now I thought this would be really cute to give as a gift by itself. Um, you could add whatever you want, throw together um, various mixing things. You could even add a, a package of fudge brownie mix or anything like that. The Dollar Tree really has a lot of Betty Crocker items and I think that they are wonderful gifts for Christmas. But I basically decided to add a little bow to the ribbon here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it inside this red mixing bowl. First, I took off the label and then I'm just gonna stick this in the back here with some chocolate chip muffin mix and then also some blueberry muffin mix. Perfect for Christmas morning. I also grabbed some pancake syrup and then I also had, um, I decided to add that little mousse just for fun, but I had this little container which I thought would be perfect and this pancake and waffle mix and I decided to add the pancake mix to this container and the reason why I use this container is because it has a little spout and I thought hmm, maybe that would be perfect to pour the pancake batter and it would make perfect little pancakes I haven't tested that theory I'm not sure I think it would work out really well but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this little ornament that I picked up and I'm going to go ahead and write the directions on the back of the ornament I love how this is in the shape of a jar so I think it would look really cute in a kitchen and then I'm just going to place that in the basket. I'm going to take the tag off this mousse. I love this mousse. I think he is so cute. And then I'm just going to place this pancake mix and this mousse in the basket like he is holding it. I also decided to add in some Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookies. This is completely optional. I just wanted to give you guys some variations, hopefully to inspire you or to give you some ideas. I personally decided to take out the cookies individually from the package and put them in these little treat bags. However, the red packaging of those cookies are cute enough and would match enough that you could just put them inside the basket or you could just leave them out completely. You don't have to add them. I just thought it'd be cute to have some cookies. Maybe they could set them out for Santa. And then I decided to add this little wooden snowflake sticker. I thought it went really well with the wooden spoon and spatula. And then here's everything placed in the basket. I did kind of have to like rearrange everything a little bit to make it all fit and to make it work. I played with it for a while, but I love how this basket turned out. I think it's so cute. It's such a very simple and easy basket to make. And it's perfect for Christmas morning. You can make pancakes and muffins for your family. Just a really cute idea. Since we had a basket for Christmas Eve and a basket for Christmas morning, I thought it'd be fun to make a basket for Christmas Day. This basket is going to be a build a snowman basket. And this one's really fun. You can get creative. You can put in any item that you want. But the idea behind this basket is to get some scarves, beanies, gloves, and we're basically going to make a basket to build a snowman. I got these black rocks from the Dollar Tree. It's just a bag of black rocks, perfect for building a snowman. And then I found these um, play food in the kitchen section at the um, Dollar Tree. It was in the toy section. And they had toy carrots. And I thought that this would be perfect. So I grabbed two of those. And I'm going to take the carrots out. And I'm going to use them in my basket. And then, of course, I'm going to add a little snowman because that's what this basket is all about. So for this basket, I'm just going to throw in some iridescent shred. I love this shred for Christmas. I, it kind of gives you like that really pretty snow vibe. But I wanted a his and her snowman. So one of the snowmans, the stuff is going to be like kind of girly. And then the other one is going to be like kind of manly. So I got a purple scarf, a black scarf. I'm going to set those in the basket. And you can put these in the basket however you want. Like I said, you can get really creative. Whatever you think would be fun to build a snowman. This is just to give you a general idea. 
Whenever we build a snowman, we have beanies, gloves, scarves. You could also put um, some sticks in here in the basket. I thought that would be kind of weird, but um, you could if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to place those two carrot noses inside the basket. I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable with this little snowman right here. Now the good thing about this basket is that if they didn't want to use the items to build a snowman, they could use the items and keep them for themselves. They don't have to use it to build a snowman, but they have them on hand. So if you wanted to wear the gloves, if they wanted to wear the beanies, they could. So what I did is I added some snowflake ornaments and placed them in the basket just for that extra touch. And then when they're done building a snowman, they can go ahead and drink some hot cocoa. I decided to put some hot cocoa in a treat bag. I added some marshmallows and this is how it turned out. I think this idea is really cute. I think it's so much fun. I absolutely love it. And the Dollar Tree had some really nice scarves and beanies this year. so. I was really happy with how this basket turned out. All right, there you go. Three baskets that you can make for Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, and then something that you can do Christmas day, either with your kids or with your family. I hope you guys enjoyed these baskets. I hope they gave you some good ideas. That's everything for this video.